I want to calculate this and I want to do it by hand. I don't want to use a calculator. I notice some cool relationships here and I'm going to try to take advantage of those relationships. That is the biggest thing I noticed by far is a bunch of different versions of 111. In a moment, we're going to see there's even a hidden 111. So I'm going to try and take advantage of that and see if I can simplify the calculation. We'll start with the 777. So that's easy enough. That's just 111 times seven. In the same way that 300 133 is just 111 times 3. In our denominator, similarly, 222 is the same thing as 111 times 2. And then 5,550, notice there is a zero at the end here, is going to be the same thing as 111 times 5 times 10. Even the 122.1 I know is not quite a multiple of 111, but is 111 times something relatively nice. Not an integer maybe, but it happens to be the same thing as 111 times 1.1. With all these 111s, it's time to start taking advantage of some of my properties of multiplication. For example, in the denominator here, I'm going to rearrange so that I have those 111s up front. That is, I've got 111 times 111, and then over here, I'm going to regroup my two times five times 10. This is taking advantage of the fact that multiplication is both commutative and associative. We can rearrange multiplications and we can regroup multiplications without changing the results. With the numerator, that's a little bit more complicated because it's not just multiplication all the way across. There's also some addition that I'm supposed to do. So now I'm going to take advantage of a different property called the distributive property. That means when we notice this common 111 times 111 that both of these different products have, we're going to bring that to the front of our calculation. This is the same thing as 111 times 111 times the quantity quantity seven, that's this seven left over from up here, plus the other stuff that was left over from the second part of our sum, 1.1 times three. From here, we can cancel our common 111s. Now, I know some people have a problem with the idea of canceling. So let's just say that what we're really doing here is recognizing 111 divided by 111 is one and multiplying stuff by one doesn't change its value. So that means we can essentially ignore the 111 over over 111. With those taken care of, we can see that essentially the calculation we're left over with is that seven plus 1.1 times three divided by two times five times 10. Seven plus 3.3 is 10.3 and 10.3 over 100. We can take advantage of place value and represent as the decimal 0 0.103. No calculator required.